Hi folks, so in this video I'm going to demo how access control lists work on Linux or extended access control lists. So as you'll recall from previous topics, when we um, look at the file permissions on a, on a Linux system, usually they use the Unix way of doing file permissions, which is actually an abbreviated form of ACL, uh, except that this ACL can only have three entries. It's got the entry of yourself, so the owner of this file, so Valkyrie is allowed to read and write this file. Next it shows the permission for groups, so that anyone in the Valkyrie group uh, don't get any extra permissions, and everyone else in the system don't get access to this file. So as another user on this system, so Ethan Eagle, if I try to read this same file, um, I've got permission denied because, you know, I don't, this user um, is not a member of any of those same groups and it's not that user so it doesn't get permission to it so if we want to grant access to that user without adding them to the valkyrie group or changing or adding a new group to the system we can use extended ACLs to do that and the way that we can do that is through set um, file access control list or set fackle uh, and we do the dash M flag to say that we want to modify the permission and we want to add a specific user. So in this case, it is this user. Um, so you could tip if you don't, if you've not used Linux a lot. If you highlight something and then use the middle mouse button, it pa just paste the last thing that you've highlighted. Uh, so if I want to add, so I'm modifying to add that this user to give read access to my secret um, and now if we look at the file permissions we've got this mysterious plus symbol so the plus symbol tells us that there is a fackle there is a, an access control list that's attached to this and the group permissions change its meaning when there's a um, when there's a, an ACL in place the group permission tells you the upper bound limit of what any of the um, ACL rules will give to any user. So in this case, the most that the ACL gives is a read permission. So if we want to know exactly um, the details of the um, ACL that's there, we do get um, FACL uh, and the file name and it tells us. So it's telling us that the normal user, so that means the owner of the file gets read and write access, so that's what this is. Um, the, this other specifically named user gets to read this file. And the group, there's no, the Vagrant group, does, uh, the, the um, Valkyrie group doesn't get anything extra. Uh, and no one else does either. For the mask value, so the upper limit of what this gives is read. Um, which then gets synced to the um, display there. Um, to, um, it becomes what's displayed when we list the, the access rules, which is just helpful because if you just do ls, you can see um, that that's there. But note that not every um, tool that is on, um, on Linux knows about ACLs. So stat, for example, will only tell you about the... Um, the um, the Unix file permissions. So in this case, you can see that there's the read, which got synced to the synced from the um, the mask. But other than that, there's no way of actually telling if you're looking at the output from stat that there was a um, an ACL in place. So you just need to be aware of that. And basically, if you use the ls command, then you should be alright uh, when you're thinking about um, permissions. So now that we've added that permission, this user can now read this deep dark secret. So we've, we've given the permission for that user to do that. Um, if you will recall, uh, there's the umask, um, which is a value that basically s sets the default of when new files are created, of the Unix file permissions that are used for that file. So we've got a umask here of um, 077, which means that it's stripping away the permissions from group and other. So if I um, create a new file, 
uh, actually I'll just create this new file um, so we've got these two files and if we look at the um, permissions uh, you know the umask is the reason why no one else gets to access the file um, if you wanted to set um, set it up in a way where you have this shared directory that we've got here that we want to be able to have all the new files that are created in that directory are automatically shared with specific users you can do that with with ACLs so you can do um, set um, FACL and you can set the default permissions to modify that to give the user and then we'll just give this specific user um, oops. this specific user read permission uh, no, not to the file but to the directory itself um, and now and in fact we might want to add ourselves to that as well um, so we want Valkyrie um, so now if we look at the um, get fackle for the actual directory itself we can see that we've actually set this default permission so that every file that's created these two users will be able to access so now if I um, actually just create a new file so if you the first file this user can't access and the second file it can access um, so the, the file is empty but the, uh, they didn't get a permission error so the um, so yeah because we've set default a default fackle for this directory every new file that's created will basically ignore the umask um, and instead it will will set the permissions based on the default permissions so if we look at the um, um, let's look at permissions of this new file that we've just created. Um, we can see that the, the permissions now are based on the defaults. If we wanted to, by default, um, um, give other people, um, r remove the permission for other users on the system, that we need to like uh, tweak this some more. Um, but that's what the default uh, default um, how default permissions work, and um, so we've talked about how you can use ACLs to set permissions on on files, how to set them on a directory so that it will automatically give um, permissions for other people to access the file, um, and we've talked about uh, the yeah. So we, and how that compares to the, the Unix way of doing file permissions. So I hope that's been helpful. Um, I think that was nice and quick um, run through uh, how to use Fackles on Linux.